Welcome back to our special Christmas edition of their Better Balkan. And since it's Christmas, we're going to do the most Christmassy recipe that I can think of, piftia. Now, piftia, to the best of my knowledge, is far and away the most polarizing of all the Macedonian recipes. Most Macedonian recipes is meat, potatoes, piperki, rinse and repeat. And no one has strong feelings about kompiri and piperki and things like that. However, piftia is the only dish that I can think of is that people really, really love it or they're not, too, they're, they're not big fans of it. Now, I'm going to hold my personal feelings of piftia till the end of this video because, well, I like a little bit of mystery. So this is going to be my very first time attempting a piftia. I'm very excited about it. So buckle up, guys, because it's Christmas time and piftia is in the air. My name is Nick Sadovsky. This is the Better Balkan. Okay, it's a beautiful day, a perfect day to be making a piftia. Normally, well, I mean, if you make piftia at home, most people do, but there's a lot of meat, there's a lot of garlic. Sometimes you, you don't want that in the, in the house, so might as well have it outside. It's a beautiful day today for some piftia. So, let's get started. I'm not making piftia alone, though. Today, joining me today is my assistant, my dad, Tato. Come on in. So, let's get started. Oh. First thing we're gonna to need to start with is your meat. We're using pork. Piftia is all pork. Um, today, this is pork leg steak. What you want in your piftia, you're gonna want meat, fat, and bones. A mix of all three of them. Okay, now that we have our pork out, what we're gonna do is cut it in big, large, hand-sized pieces like that, and then start throwing it inside, inside your bowls. What you wanna do is you wanna make sure you have uh, parts of meat, parts of fat, and also parts of bone inside. After you've chopped them up into pieces, you fill them up with water. So after we've cut up our, all of our pieces, we'll throw them, throwing them in our bowls, fill them up with water, you're gonna bring them to a boil. What we're trying to do is completely, you wanna completely cook up your meat. After it's done completely cooking, we're gonna cut them up into smaller pieces. But right now, cook it all the way through. Now while that's going right now, time for the next most important ingredient, garlic, luke. Uh, you're gonna wanna use a lot of luke for this. You can more or less, depending on your, your personal taste, we're making this. <laughs> yeah. so, so we're gonna, so we bought a one whole full sleeve of garlic, and well, I don't want it to go to waste, so we got two bowls going, so we're gonna use pretty much two, two and a half per bowl. You can add in more, you can add in less. We're doing this kind of per our personal taste, so we're doing about two and a half. And, and salt, we're also gonna salt the water. Enough. Enough. So it's, it, it tastes <laughs> to, salt, a little salty. Taste. You don't want to go overboard. Yeah, like a, like a soup, basically, to your own personal taste for salt. Yeah, we cut these up and we throw them all throw while it's boiling. And let them boil. But that's pretty much all it. Together. Salt, luke, water, and meat. It's kind of an amazing recipe when you really think about simple. it. Simple. Keep it simple. Keep it simple. <laughs> Now that the luke has been all peeled up, we're gonna mince it up. You can do it the old fashioned way with the knife. I actually got myself a little tool right here. You can, I draw my luke inside, I can mince it, and I can mince it like that, and it falls right into here. I don't know how, if there's Piftia purists out there watching this, probably they just say, no, 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 a day would be this no, We're doing it both ways, <laughs> both ways. Keep it simple. Keep it, we're keeping it simple. <laughs> Try dicing it the old-fashioned way. Uh, Mr. Old-fashioned here 
<laughs> realize it's kind of a cool device. Keep it simple, keep it simple. So we found a simpler way to do it. <laughs> it's still a two-man job, though. So he just loads it up, and I'm the garlic holder. <laughs> okay, now while these are coming to a boil, you're gonna have some fat that comes to the, that comes to the top. All you wanna do is take a spoon, and then you're gonna just scoop it off, just skim it off right from the top. Okay, so these have been going on for about an hour and a half, two hours now, and we keep skimming off the fat and removing that. And after after some, some time, it'll start looking like this. Uh, the water will, will kind of like a really nice, kind of a, a warm kind of darkness to it. Um, it's starting to look like Piftia to me. <laughs> so we're gonna let this go for another hour or so. I think about uh, three to four hours is how, how long you wanna boil this down to all that kind of fat floats to the top and you get off and you got a really nice, good, like a um, nice rich piftia broth. Okay, so this has been boiling up for about two hours now. At that point, we're gonna take all that luke that we ground up. We threw a little bit of salt in here just for some t uh, just for some uh, flavor, and we're gonna throw it in here. So each bowl is gonna get a big glug of luke. <laughs> Okay, now this has been cooking for about four hours now, and the meat is all cooked up. All the uh, the fat is broken down a little bit, and now it's uh, it's it's nice and uh, piftia y <laughs> So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the pieces of meat out in in a bowl, and we're gonna cut them up smaller. The reason why we didn't cut them up into smaller cubes before is because we want to use the fat in there, but I don't want the fat to be all the fat pieces to already to still be in there with our finished piftia for health reasons. We can we can. Lose we can stand to lose a couple. Cholesterol or so. All we're gonna do is we're gonna take them out right now, and we're gonna cut off some of the. We're gonna remove the bones, and then we're gonna cut out some of the some of the fat. Not all the fat. You still want some of that in there. It is peefy after all, uh, but we don't want the giant giant pieces of fat. We, we're just we're trying to make this a, a leaner, more protein friendly pifthia. So that's and, why we're doing that. And then we pour the juice into the plates. Not so fat. We'll get to oh, that okay. point. One all thing right. at a time. Okay, now that everything is cut up and ready to go, we are ready to assemble. First things first, well, we have our bowls ready. Always remember it is tradition to have an odd number of bowls, never even. We have odd because when everything's even, it's already paired off. For Macedonian tradition, we always want room for one more. So right now, we, have, we always want to expand. So we have nine bowls, we'll always room for one more. So we've, after that, we're going to get ready. You have your... Okay, now that we're ready to go, uh, we have our meat all cut up right here, and we also have some fat that we cut up, uh, that we cut up too. Again, we're trying to be a little bit more health conscientious. Some people, they'll just cut it up and use the fat too. That's fine too. Uh, that's how we're doing it. So we're just going to put some meat and fat and also some bones in each bowl too. Try to, we're going to try to keep it as equal as we can. Okay, now that we've separated all the meat evenly in all the bowls, it's time to add our piftia broth. So I got my ladle here, and here we go. Let's do it. Now the point of adding in the pieces of fat and bone to it here is we're, we're gonna leave this overnight in the fridge, is that right? That's right. So, and we're gonna Sweet. leave it in there, and it's supposed to solidify, and it's gonna be kind of like a jello-y. And it will. Okay, so we uh, miscalculated a little bit. We had nine bowls to start with, but now we have 13 bowls. <laughs> so, you know, there's never, you can never make too much beef to So anyways, we filled them all up. We spaced them out as evenly as we can. Uh, you don't want that much meat in there. This is a brothy kind of thing. So we're gonna leave this out tonight uh, and it's gonna solidify and it's gonna get all kind of like gelatiny 
and really delicious and garlicky and meaty. It's it smells a lot like Christmas, guys. So it's feeling like a lot of it's feeling like Borgic right now. Oh so, yes. So we'll be back after all of this is solidified. <laughs> Piftia has solidified overnight, it will harden up, and your Piftia should look something like this. To me, the look and smell of these bowls reminds me of Christmas. Just think of that white crust on top as snow. It helps. It helps a lot. Too watery. Nobody said making Piftia would be easier first time. But, hey, we, we all make mistakes. I'm not perfect. I just wanted to give it a shot, but it's close enough to Piftia, so it is a little bit. Uh, I, see, I do. I was hoping for more of like a gel gelatiny kind of like a jello mold. It should be able to maintain its shape. So my first try, assuming I didn't do the do the best job of it, but I still got the basic principles of it. So we're gonna give this a shot. My very first Piftia ever. Well, it tastes exactly what it looks like. <laughs> it's meaty, it's garlicky, it's jello-y. Actually, the seasoning on this is really, really good. It's a, it's a perfect amount of saltiness, too. Um, it's a texture thing. My feelings on Piftia have not changed that <laughs> much. Um, I do love the idea of it. The people, like I said, people that like Piftia love Piftia. And people that don't really like it, well, they're hard to convince too. But the point is, we tried to make it. Um, I'm definitely gonna do this again. <laughs> you know, I want to make sure I get it right. Whatever. Uh, if I'm gonna do something, I want to make damn sure I do it the best I can. And with that, thank you for watching. Pifio was actually the, one of the very first recipes that I thought of that I was gonna make when I first put together this show. So very excited that I finally got a chance to make it. Merry Christmas, Sreken Bojik. Take care of yourselves. Take care of your family. Ristu Sarodi. I'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, if you like what you've been seeing and you want a more interactive experience, you can head on down to Facebook and search under the Better Balkan. While you're there, you'll be able to find links to all of my videos. Uh, you can chat with me directly, send me a message uh, if you have any questions about any of the recipes that I've covered, any of the music on the show, or if you have any, have any suggestions about recipes that you want to see me cover. If you have suggestions about recipes, please have a couple of pictures of these recipes. Sometimes these things are a little bit hard to find, so pictures would be a big help. Uh, if you have any questions about life in general, I'll be happy to answer them. Even if I know, don't know the answer, I'll be happy to make something up. Uh, that being said, hope you've been enjoying the videos. Keep on cooking.